Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got Pooh Shiesty writing angry letters to um about being accused of snitching. You follow what I'm saying, man? Benzino trying to fight all the Eminem stands out there in the streets. Uh, we also got um uh, we got Dame Dash explaining how to end rap beef. Right, um, and, and who he blames for that? We got G Herbo and Chingy trending after the executive loses 10 mil again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, man. Yo, that notification bell's waiting for you to tap it, so go on and give it a tap, man. Also, that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and hit that too. You follow what I'm saying? It's the red button somewhere on your screen, man. You know what I mean? Well, although you might have made the joint big. Um, uh, let me get my gummy bears out the way. Check this out, man. Here's a weird story that confused your boy, okay? A senior executive at the makeup company Estee Lauder decided that he was going to post a meme involving Chingy, Sesame Street, COVID, and the word ninja. <laughs> well, not ninja, but you know the word. You know what I mean? The N-word, okay? He posted it on his personal IG page, man. Yo, the pic, right, that he had was an image of Big Bird with a mask on at the bedside of Snuffleupagus. I mean, I think that's his name, okay? Snuffy, whatever, all right? And the title of the book on the meme says, my, my, ninja, my ninja Snuffy done got the Rona at the Chingy concert. Yo, I'm over here like, yo, what's this man doing on the shade room? Now, because of this post, right? Estee Lauder decided we gonna end your 31 year career. You know what I'm saying? The man was making 10 million a year. Okay, he stated, "Quote: I didn't know I couldn't post the word nigga." All right, he ain't really say that. Okay, but 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 the man did say, "Quote: I am terribly sorry for the and deeply ashamed that I hurt so many people and made the horrible mistake of carelessly reposting a meme without reading it beforehand." Close quote. <laughs> Yo, you see why reading is important, man. You see, you could be making. 10 million a year and not be an avid reader that's the other thing okay i mean fam the words were like in purple or something like it was huge how you been you ain't come on you read it and you thought it was funny and you posted it and you lost your gig 31 years 31 years in a career see how they do you man they, they ain't even giving the chance to be like yo my bad my bad <laughs> look apparently you could make 10 million a year and then not be a, like reading not be a requirement for you okay Maybe the guy is mad, um, charismatic. Anyway, check this out. G Herbo has stated, quote, I might be one of the best rappers alive. LOL. No bullish. Don't at me. Exactly. Take a look. L listen, Dame Dash has figured out a way to, you like, oh, word is like that. It's like that. Dame Dash has figured out. Oh, by the way, yo, 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 yo. Oh, we'll forget. It. I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, Dame Dash has figured out a way to stop the murders that take place, like in the culture. You follow what I'm saying? He has stated the following. Yo, take a listen. All right, hopefully that played, man, because, you know, YouTube's been acting funny lately, man. In fact, man, they, they kind of sort of hit all yesterday's video from a lot of y'all. You know what I mean? So if you missed yesterday's video, man, you better go and find that, please. All right? It's because, you know, we covered the war a little bit. Yo, so us, whenever we cover the war next time, just play videos of people tap dancing. I got them on deck. You know what I'm saying? Just so that, you know, YouTube don't come at your boy. You know what I mean? If we talk about the war, let's play tap dancing videos for me, man. Anyway, um, uh, Dame Dash said he figured out a way to stop the murders that take place with a lot of these artists, okay? Uh, if it didn't play, he said, quote, it's an algorithm that needs to be stopped. If you like to look at trolling and beef and it pops up on your phone, the algorithms are what's controlling us right now. It's a program. It's knowing how to trigger people and it's profitable from our dysfunction. Um, you, then he said, YouTube should stop paying when people put up beef. Instead of people paying attention to a negative algorithm, they should pay attention to a positive one. It, it sounds like he was listening to the social dilemma. Like he just watched the social dilemma and came out like, oh, I got an idea. Um, he said, it's just the program that we keep falling into. What needs to be profitable is our love and our unity. That's what has to be showcased. But no one shows that family killing family instead of your real enemy is your real enemy tricking you to do that and we're aware of it but we keep doing it my rule of thumb is i'm this is what he said my rule of thumb is i'm not hurting anybody with the same color skin as me period close quote sir we shouldn't be hurting anybody period you follow what i'm saying man i mean i get what you were trying to say but listen man 
ra racism is bad. Okay, racism is ra race racism. Race racism. Come on, fam. Can you talk? Can you can you speak? Because that's the other thing. You gotta know how to read and you gotta know how to speak. Can you speak, damn it? Listen, racism is bad. Alright? Matter of fact, let me get to my shout-outs real quick. This this is the fine, this is a fine time to do shout-outs. What's, what's my time looking like? Oh, today's gonna be a short video today. Okay. Uh let me see here. Okay, um, let me get rid of my polynomial joint right here that I was showing my, my class today. Somebody was like, yo, man, how, how is you a teacher? They don't know your voice? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, y'all don't know the voice by now. Oh, man, I knocked the thing off my dashboard. I right, look. Shout out to, um, uh, oh, please. <laughs> First of all, I love your pick with, the, you know, Africa. I love it. All right. Uh, he said, yo, lack later. Yak later. Yak later. All right. He's talking about my yak later. When I, when I, the, how I translate Kodak Black's words. He said, I love the channel for real, for real, man. With, with all that's going on, it uplifts me. Thank you for always making my day better. Blessings upon blessings to you and the fan. Hey, yo, this, that means a lot. Statements like that mean a lot because that means I'm making like some form of a positive impact on folks. You see what I'm saying? King's Ransom TV came through and said, yo, what if blood with the Lucy? This is from yesterday's video. If you missed it, you got to go and find it, please. He said, what if blood with the Lucy and the landmine tripped and fell while carrying that ish? When I read, you know, you know what happened if he tripped with that joint? Boom, explosion, overpowering. Yo, on the competition, I'm towering. Hey, yo, who said that? Who said those lines? Yo, know say it. Post that joint in the comments below. It's a classic. I was listening to it this morning. Something about your mother. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, post that joint in the comments below. Yo, who's saying that joint? Boom, explosion. All right? Um, and who else we got over here? Don Lobos. My man said, um, Don Lobos said, I don't understand, Celeb. How are you tight about what's happening in Ukraine and not tight about what the white Ukrainians are doing to the black people in Ukraine? F, this is what he said. F Ukraine because the police and the military are holding African hostage in Ukraine at gunpoint while the white Ukrainians get away to safety. If you're mad about what's going on with the Ukrainians and not mad at speaking on what they're doing to the Africans in Ukraine, then I got some questions for you, Celeb. You said you love people. Then what about what's being done to our people? Are you tight about that? I'm just saying. Check this out. I just read last night, right? And, and um, so I, feel free to play the tap dancing at this point if you'd like. I just read last night, right? That um, it, it was crazy because I saw the video with the Africans and I was like, well, I don't know why they, they're not letting these Africans on the train. I'm not 100% sure why. Like, I don't know if they're just like, yo, we only letting the Ukraine citizens first. I don't know, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. But then I saw another video, right? And a matter of fact, it wasn't a video. It was a bunch of um, posts from Real DL Hughley's uh, Instagram. One, it, it had five clips, okay? The one that said from the BBC, it said, it's very emotional for me because, this is what the BBC said. It's very emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed. This is from Ukraine's deputy chief prosecutor, David, whatever his name is, okay? I said, what? Then I read, from this is from France we're in the 21st century we're in a european city and we have cruise missile fires as though we're in iraq or afghanistan can you imagine i said what the what the cuff <laughs> then the uk itv said the unthinkable has happened this is not a developing third world nation this is europe i said what the cuff and then um who's this poland poland said this it said to put it bluntly these are not refugees from Syria. These are refugees from the Ukraine. They're Christians. They're white. They're similar to us. They were explaining why Poland is accepting refugees. I was like, what the cuff? And then he posted, this is from BFM TV, France again. It's, imp it's an important question. We're not talking here about Syrians fleeing. We're talking about Europeans. I said, what the cuff? Are you catching my drift, man? Racism apparently has time, still, it seems. So now, every time when I see these crying kids on television from the news trying to make me feel sad, I'm gonna start feeling the way I felt about the insurrection. You see what I'm saying? And you know how I felt about the insurrection? I was like, oh, well, look at these father muckers over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at these father muckers acting up. I don't feel bad no more. I'm sorry, I mean, death is bad. But when people, when there's war, at least you get your life right and you get ready to see Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you be, I be like, first couple of days, I, I wanted to feel bad. I wanted to feel bad first couple of days. 
So it's, please tell me you got the tap dancing music up. I mean, not the, the tap dancing videos or a clip, whatever. Let me keep it going. Let me keep it going. Because I said this is a short video and I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. Okay. Pooh shiesty. Oh, wait. Was that all my shout outs? I think that was all my shout outs. I, I did have a couple more shout outs, but I don't remember if I did. Um, oh, yeah. Leonard, because Leonard Tarver said something very interesting. He said, these fools meet Elon Musk, then flash jewelry in the camera. Meanwhile, the richest guy in the room is dressed like a regular dude. Stop the embarrassment. These people need to see the damn door. Yo, Leonard Tarver, truer words have never been spoken. Uh, well, they have been, but I'm just saying. That's 100% true. These clowns are showing their jewelry. I keep telling you, man. Every time, I can't, I I would love to wear, because I love wearing all black. Now you can identify me. I would love to wear all black with a gold chain every single day, with a big gold chain. But I have an aversion to rocking chains. Like, I don't want to wear chains anymore. They done brought us over here in chains. I don't want to rock chains no more. You see what I'm saying? So every time I see folks with the with the chains, I don't even want to bring myself to put it on. You see what I'm saying, man? And these artists, they look so damn silly trying to flash me. They, the richest man, Elon Musk, is just looking regular and these clowns are fat flashing their jewelry, trying to make you believe how rich they are. Get the cuff out of here. Ain't nobody damn impressed. You look silly. Anyway, Pooh Shiesty was accused of snitching by WAC 100, okay? Pooh's lawyer came out denying that joint with the quickness. Now Pooh has written an angry letter about the accusation. <laughs> Look, I'm hoping he ain't said nothing crazy, man. Because you know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes folks be snitching on themselves by accident. Um, and the other thing is this. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, okay? Pooh stated, he said, Omerta. I forgot what that means. Post that during the comments if you remember what that means. I, don't know. I forgot what it means. But he says, it will never show in no paper that I sat down. Yeah, I sat down. He said, sat down. I'm like, sat down. you like, celeb, don't start. It will never show in no paper that I sat down with the government and gave a statement on no one on the case with me nor anyone else for something in return. In that case, I would not be here. A factual proffer is not, a, of a, it's not the same as a government proffer. I think the proffers are the like the, the the court documents where they snitch, right? So the, a factual a fatual proffer is not of a government proffer where the weak will sit down and tell their soul. Know the difference. I think he meant like K N O W, but whatever. Know the difference before you use my name in vain. I think he meant vain as in V A I N. Before I bit some cheese I, and I sat down and kept quiet. Bef wait, before I bit? Before I bite some cheese, I sit down and keep quiet. I, I, I look, Lord, help me. Because, um, Lord, there's thousands of people listening to this. I don't want to look like I don't know what, how to read. <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you, look, you sound like you don't know how to talk. Whatever. I, 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 I'm not reading this anymore. I think he's saying I didn't snitch. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Simple and plain, I didn't snitch. Did I say? I thought I was going to include this story. All right, look, Ben Zeno seems to still dislike all of you Eminem stands out there. <laughs> so much so, he's inviting you to pull up. N now, please, please don't, okay? Telling, I'm just telling you what he said, but use your brain, please, all right? Bezino said, to all you puzz <laughs> like puzz you know what I'm saying? To all you puzz I done, I done told you that word is short for the word pusillanimous, which means cowardly, okay? To all you puzz stands, we all know y'all the most corniest, non-violent, coward fan base hip-hop has ever seen. Ever? I, I have a restaurant in Atlanta, uh, 5071 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, Chambly, Georgia. Stop tweeting and pull up on me, you pizzazz. All right? <laughs> pizzazz, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, may I highlight at this point, the man is 56 years old. He said, I've been left this ish alone, but since the coward ass stands, still want to talk ish and hide then it's still cuff Eminem. And if you got a problem with me, do something about it. You never said, wait, 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 wait. Let me read this again. Do something about it. Nothing you ever said has affected me in any way. I think he meant affected, but you know, you know what he meant, okay? He, <laughs> yeah, he used effect with an E. I know how to fight and I got big sticks. So pull up, close quote. He says, oh, open it back up. He said, I'll be in Jacksonville on March 12th with no security. Whoever got a real problem with me, pull up or shut the cuff up. Close quote. Please, y'all. 
We got bigger problems in this world right now. No need to add this problem onto your plate, okay? Racism is a problem. So we do not need y'all to be violent. Oh, wait. These are the stands. All right, let me keep it going. And finally, because I feel like it was going to go into crazy. I love, love, love. In some deep and troubling news, the young man and army vet, Jeremiah Taylor, right? Who not only went to high school with Young Dolph, but also spent time every day uh, tidying and organizing Young Dolph's mural and tribute, was murdered on Friday. The murder happened while he was in his car and the vehicle slammed into a pole. Now, when the police arrived, he was declared dead. They are now trying to figure out whether the murder has any connection with Young Dolph. Crazy stuff, right? Look, look, the demons are busy out here in these streets. Demons are busy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Man. Um, if When you're 56 years old, are you going to still be threatening uh, the fans of, of, of people? Like, uh, are you still going to have fights over music and stuff like that when you're 56? Yeah, so, like, at my age right now, y'all know how old I am. At my age right now, you probably be like, well, no, nah, we don't. Well, you know, you know what age I am. I'm about your age. What I'm saying is, when you get to a certain age, like certain, like you, you, you're not really supposed to care like that. This, I don't even care anymore about half of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's out there. Half of the stuff that I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't care about. You know what I'm saying? And yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. You know what I care about most? I, I honestly, honestly, just to throw this out here, I care about making you feel good. You know what I mean? Like giving you a reprieve from the from the bullish. You're like, but when you giving us boys, I know, but I'm trying to make you look at it like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever. Yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure. Y'all know what I'm saying. Face, you can translate it for me in the comments below. Oh, face, by the way, I saw what you said about dogs. I don't say I hate dogs. I say they low key disgusting. I have a dog. Okay. I like my dog. That don't mean my dog ain't disgusting i know you're like what kind of what kind of dog you got i like the small dogs if the dog's doodle -doo is bigger than my finger i can't have it in the crib so you know the kind of dog i got you see what i'm saying hey yo let us know what you think in the comments but it's time for me to roll out of here but yo be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source celeb news